Hey guys, this is Wonton Saipod Up, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the firmware iOS 4.1. This jailbreak um, it only works on the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch second gen non MC model. So let's get this started. Before we start, make sure your iPod or iPhone is already updated to the firmware 4.1 and make sure to download the 4.0 firmware from Felix.Bruins. Um, I'll put the firmware download link in the description below and Red Snow. I'll put that too. So this works for uh, Windows and Mac. So let's get this started. Um, before we start, make sure your device is turned off, completely turned off. So my second gen is completely turned off. So open up Red Snow. Open up the program. Go to Browse. Look up for your firmware 4.0. So there's 4.0. Open that up. While you're waiting, please remember to subscribe, comment, and like. And if, uh, like I said, I'll put the um, download link for everything in the description below. So check it out. And it tells you a warning if your iPod Touch second gen is the MT model. If it's not, just press no. So press next. I'll be connecting to the server. Like I said guys, this only works on the iPhone 3G, the old boot ROM, and the iPod Touch 2nd Gen. So, all of these options are enabled. Install Cydia and all the enable multitasking, enable blah blah blah. So press next. And we have to go through this process again. So, when your iPod Touch or iPhone is turned off, just press next. Hold the power button for 3 seconds. Without releasing the power button, also hold down the home button for 7 seconds, no, 10 seconds. And without releasing the home button, release the um, power button but keep on holding the home button for 30 seconds. And you should get a white screen. That means it's working. Um, while you're waiting guys, please remember to subscribe, comment, and like, and read the description if you have any problems. We'll be uploading a RAM disk, and the iPod Touch will be downloading jailbreak data. say done. If I were you, even though it will say done on Resno on your computer or Mac, um, don't press finish, just leave it until your thing in the iTouch is finished or our iPhone. So like I said guys, if you get a white screen while doing this, that means it's working. It will be flashing NOR. Oh yeah guys, um, please man, follow me on Twitter, ping, and please add me on Game Center, the new one. Um, my Game Center ID is Wonton's iPod up, so please add me. And I hope to play with you guys sometime later on in the future. Installing bundle for all of you other people who have a iTouch 4, iPhone 4, and the iTouch 3G, um, the iPhone 3GS. You guys have to wait later on for the um, 4.1 jailbreak for you guys. So after everything's finished, you should get this Apple logo.
since it's finished, I'll just exit out of um Resno and delete that. So it's finished. But first, so slide in open C if it's working. So we got the background and the iTouch 2G, so that's one point's working. And here's studio. If you fin uh, finish jailbreaking, you should get this white studio icon. That means it's working. So press on it. Yeah, are you still friends with Del? Yeah, Sorry guys if you heard that. Yeah, um, did Del try to apologize to sister? Why did his sister try to apologize? He apologized by so? Wow, this is pretty taking a long time guys, so I'm sorry for the wait. But it's all worth it, since it's a jailbreak after all. Well, something went wrong guys, but let me try that again. Oh, here it is. So after that, you just press the user UR. So I'll pick the first one, user graphical. I'll be updating database. And it says, well, I don't know about that. Make everything load up first. I'm sorry guys but I have to quickly end this video so please subscribe, comment and rate. And if you have a problem please feel free to leave a comment down below. So bye guys.